the look at this beautiful comfrey flowers okay. there are tons of berries and fortunately the and so um some of these plants to kind of keep it more at bay welcome back to our healthy home so today we're going to do an afternoon garden tour and you guys have to excuse me we just lost one of our chickens so i'm kind of a little bit um less cherry today but let's go ahead and start so we're going to start here so this is how my sweet potatoes are doing i knew that they just needed some some time and some water and so they're starting to trail a little bit more and here's actually a volunteer tomato which i didn't pull out i guess i'm gonna leave it and see if it actually gets any bigger so this is how my husband's tomatoes are looking now they're doing pretty good and i planted an oregano here in another video and that's doing good too so let me go ahead and sh keep showing the rest of the row. And I did just put these mints, so we'll see if they catch on by the next time. Put that in there. I just took out all the cilantro here because I said I don't need all those seeds this year. So um, I probably will come through and separate some of this. This is my hop, so it is growing. It's a slow grower. And unfortunately, my other plant did not do so well. But you know we keep it moving here's how my cucumbers are doing so when you have seen it last time i had just planted the seeds but now they're doing pretty good and i have some over here this bush is where i just moved some of the mint from you guys are going to see a video soon of me showing how to, i actually preserve mint and in here there is a pepper plant and i didn't think this through because i have some pepper plants here and look at how big this um, cucumber leaf is and hopefully it'll trail over and look really nice all right i have some peas here they're doing a little bit more they're still growing pretty slow uh my sage unfortunately no more beautiful purple flowers we still have a little bit left um, but it's still doing its thing so it can give us seeds we have strawberry here and we actually did eat some of these strawberries i'll have to find a way to keep some of the sage up more but nothing on it right now these are the beans so these have grown up more as well they don't look so great but i never do anything to my beans and i just never think that you should because they're to feed the soil of nitrogen so i don't i don't feed them so even though they don't look nice they'll give us beans and we'll be good all right so i need to actually move this because we're getting too much rain and it's not good uh for my aloe so you can see this plant really didn't like it it was small but there's all different aloe throughout here. There is a video and I'll go ahead and link it uh, when I'm finished. All right, so in this bed, let's go ahead and open it. Unfortunately, my lettuce is going to seed. So, what do you, come on, let's, let's do the tour together. I don't know, um, look at this. I don't know what this is on my um, dandelion, if it's some kind of mildew or whatever. Uh, violets or on this side my time is doing great I need to definitely get some sure go ahead just make sure there's no bugs this is chamomile nothing um, yet and here's my lettuce which going to seed but the lettuce is really delicious and it's all different types and thank you to Madeline she's the one who actually gave me these seeds these especially this purple mustard it says it's like a Dijon flavor it's really good it's really delicious I'd let you try it but I know you would say no we have all different types and look at the bugs uh, so I just make sure that there's no bugs on it and we'll take it up inside and wash it up sometimes you do get the full plant like she did um, yeah there's beans over here this is my yarrow and this was all one plant and it has kind of spread out a little bit. Flowers are opening, very aromatic plant and lots of medicinal uses. I talk about it a lot of times in videos, so I'm not gonna do that just right now. Here's another chamomile. Now this one is doing better, so I'll look forward to that. So if you look at these beans, you can see they're trailing up. Um, I meant to put a trellis here, so we'll just have to do that soon. All right, so here's, here is blackberries. As you can see, they are forming pretty um, nice looking plant here and there's all throughout over here and it's just on this trellis which it doesn't necessarily need but 
I do have to help it out every now and then. Here's the other plant. And this one's moving out as well. This one has, I want to say, more on it. But again, I just have to come and help it out. This isn't the best trellis for it. I may have to um, swap it out. But yeah, pretty tall, as tall as me. All right, and the nectarine, it does have a few nectarines on it, but a lot of them actually got black, as you can see. So that's sad. This is the first year. It is a pretty puny plant, so perhaps um, we should just not get any nectarines and try when it's bigger but you can see something was eaten on it must be because there's sap there might be a worm in there probably so maybe we should um, take them off so yeah i did see down here that i do have um other than weeds there is some chocolate mint that's coming up which i thought it was dead all the way so that's good to see So our daughter is, is finding peas. Thank you. you so more. sure, here you go. Uh, so here is yarrow and this was one plant and, and <coughs> it has spread out and I've actually given some like to my mom. I've harvested some um, for that video I did with Madeline recently. And um, I've moved some yarrow plants in the bed and all throughout. So this yarrow is really doing wonderful. It definitely spreads a lot. You can see what the flowers look like here. It's a really wonderful smelling plant. Now your weeds are making me cough. It's not weeds. Okay, and this, um, is that a bug? It is a bug. Um, as you can see, look how this, I can't wait until these flower. These are really beautiful. And I planted them uh, last year and I never got to actually see them flower. You can see these over here as well. <coughs> So that's really exciting. So these are chamomiles here. These are toothache plants. <coughs> oh, okay. These are chamomile plants. Hopefully they'll do okay. They're probably getting shaded out a lot. Here's more mint again. Here's stevia, which is looks like it's going to seed, unfortunately. Um, good tasting plant. Very sweet, sweeter than sugar. Okay, so I'm happy about this. This is some bloody dock here. And I have some in my beds over there, but they're just getting shaded out. This is calendula here. And I tried some purple basils and this is all that I did get. Look at these flowers here. And I do have some peas. So let me go ahead. Yes, the peas are hiding. <laughs> Such a good helper. So we do have lots of mint over here, but we actually have blackberry here uh, but it's on its first year so we're not going to get any fruit on this i see one here thanks all right but we do have peas and peas oh, here peas. also that are hopefully going to grow up here um and here's my other blackberry plant I in here but yeah this is what i'm going to be harvesting so we can do that oh, video soon so this is more of these plants my fig here raspberry plant here that is sharing with some dandelion here um, here's a grape. In here, and there's tons of weed, so I will have to come in here and clean up. So here, we have more of those flowers. I planted them everywhere, and our grapes. So here, let's do an update on the grapes. What is that? <laughs> some bugs there. Um, but I did see some grapes. Let's see where I can see them. Uh, if you come on this side. We can see our grapes over here. So these are our green grapes here in this one and this one next to it. Yeah, these are all green. And you can see some here forming. Can you get some close-ups? All right, so I think these are beans that I planted. Um, they look a kind of funny. I don't know if these are actually, um, I think they are beans, but they kind of look like morning glory. So I'm not sure what happened here. All right, so let's turn around. So this is the oregano that I did cut down. It's doing a little bit better, um, but hopefully it'll start to trail out more. Yeah, that's good. All right, so here's asparagus here. And we just have a bunch of them here. And look how pretty. 
these walking onions. Huh? Yeah, look. There's tons of different strawberries in here. What? You see bugs? There's tons. You just have to kind of push everything. Looks like there's ants there. Um, what? That one looks too red, I think. But like, if you look in here, look in here. There's always a bunch. You just have to come and get it. It's been raining a lot. So sometimes they get too soft. Look at the comfrey. The comfrey actually has flowers, which is really beautiful. So look at this beautiful comfrey flowers. Bell-like flowers that are purple. It's really beautiful. You can see some of these um, strawberries in here. Uh, and I did see before, I don't know where it is now. I did come and take some of this comfrey leaves as well. Uh, I can't find my bloody dock, but it is in here somewhere. And I do have some oregano back here as well. And I'm still going to have to come and get some of these plants to kind of keep it more at bay. All right, come on. I can smell the mint. Are you? We don't need any mint. They're eating it or? They're cutting it. Melanie, I don't need any mint. Not yet. Okay, so this is the other sage. And maybe I will actually trim this off a little bit. Trim it maybe half. Look at this other mint. So there's just so much <laughs> mint in this garden. Uh, this is my other asparagus here. I did see some small ones, but here they're starting to flower. Okay. All right. And we can't walk through here because this walkway is not fixed. Yeah, you told on yourself. Uh, all right, so I did put blackberries in here. I didn't realize we had these two trellises and the blackberries, whoops. You can see one and two, they're actually green now where they looked very much dead. So they are coming back. So this is the old and so it's already started growing here. So my goal is to make this a blackberry patch. All right. So in here, I did plant marshmallow and I don't see anything happening. And so I think I'm going to put maybe beans in here. And the next one we have corn. I did plant some corn. And so this is about, I don't know, two and a half, three weeks. And so it looks okay. Um, I would have liked more germination and more spread out, but that's what we got. And I did plant more peas here. And so the peas are coming up, but you can just see this weed, whatever this weed is, is just everywhere right now. Like the weed expert. Well, this is not, I think this, this is not like edible. This is probably like crabgrass or whatever. And yes, I am a weed expert. Thank you for the compliment. All right, anyway, so that's what we have in this bed. Okay, so this is our apple and it just looks so much bigger. I'm trying to, I'm looking really closely to see if I can see the apples on it. I did see one the other day. Here's one that I saw. Um, but I think all the other ones are very small still. But we should get probably about two dozen or so from the tree. So this is what the other apples look like right now. They're still very small. Uh, so this one is just really ahead of the others. All right, so this is our gala apple. Okay, and we're going to have to take this branch off. All right, so this is our other apple, and I don't remember what this one was called, but these apples are bigger. Wine sap, thank you. These are bigger. So here we see one, two. Um, is that a bug on it? Yep, there's a bug on this one. I don't know if that's bugs or if that's in dents. I don't think that's a bug. I think they were biting them. Um, but here, I see one, two, I see three here. Um, this one, and I see more over here as well. So this tree actually flowered ahead of the gala, which is actually very early apple as well. This over here. All right, so I'm really excited. This is going to be our first year of getting apples from this tree. Then behind it, here is our peach tree. We've This is its third year fruiting, but I don't know if we're going to get any. I do try to put BT as much as I can. But the issue is the rain. We always have so much rain. Look at the clusters, but you can see how many have been bit into. But I'm hoping, because it does look like, it does look like 50. 
oh, I didn't see all those on the ground. And that happens, and that's just normal too. But, yeah. There's still at least 50 on the tree. So if we can get even a, four, a fourth of that, I'd be happy to finally have some fresh. All right, so behind here, look at this. This is my, well, this is my blackberry. Um, did it, does it have any blackberries on it? Doesn't have any blackberries. Well, thank you, Samuel. All right, I planted some, and I still have some carrots that are random here. I wonder how big that carrot is. Yes, you heard me say carrots. You're going to pick it? Not that one. Well, you got to be careful. That one you probably can't get. Okay, so I did put wild violet in here. This one is pineapple sage. Another pineapple sage here. This is, um, I don't remember. And I did just buy this. This is pineapple mint. It's variegated. Looks really nice. Uh, yay, perfect. Um, is this spearmint? This is, I think, spearmint. All right. And this one is our other blackberry that has tons going on. So this one always gives us more than the other. Oh, look at that carrot. Awesome. Pick it up, Nini. Good job. Yes, we do need more carrots. That's why we planted some. Here's actually another one. Here, come get this one. Okay, okay. Oh. Um, it's too hard? All right, it's, if it's too hard, because it is clay soil. Oh. Yeah. I might have to, we'll get a scoop. Did you get shots of the blackberry? All right, and this is a cherry. Doesn't have anything on it. Last time I checked, and we definitely need to cut it so that it can bush out more. This is my daughter's bed. We do have little carrots in it, um, as far and she has these flowers also forming as well. But we need to focus more on growing things that kind of grow quicker because she really does, as you see, have a knack for gardening as well. All right. So this is a bay leaf and the funny thing is it was doing so great inside the house and as soon as I took it out this is how it looks but it does look like it wants to hang on and it looks like so I think I probably just cut it all down and let it um, regrow up so these are all spinach which I didn't think this was supposed to be spinach but um, these are and so <laughs> we'll be able to eat some hopefully and I'm glad that nothing has bothered it since it's so close to the ground all right so this is our elderberry and you guys did see me harvest some elder flowers from it here are some of the this is before and then after when the flowers do open and then the berries once they do dry up yes sweetheart yes so let's show these as well and so um I guess these are going to become berries and then that one I might actually harvest to do something with. Yes, ca carrots can be in salad. Yes. All right. Yes, they can. You know, you shave carrots. All right. And these are the two, these two alders are ones that I got from Madeline as well. You heard her name a lot in this one. And so they're doing good. I'm really happy about it. They seem to like it. This is coneflower. Now I moved it from the other pot. I wanted to make more, but this is the only one that survived, so I'm back down to one. But the flowers are forming, as you can see here. So, yeah, that's our cone flower. So what I did was I took all of my um, strawberry plants and I planted them here. So when you plant things, a lot of times they do look dead, and it's okay. Just be patient. You come back, and then they're going to look nice. That's what happened with my blackberries or whatever. So the hope is these plants will begin to emerge later on. All right, so now we can go back. All right, so over here, this is the raspberry patch. They are getting even taller. We did actually eat the first berries today. There are tons of berries, and fortunately, the berries do grow at the top of the plants, so it does make it easier to get them. Yes, right now, they are not ready, but we do have a bunch over here. Um, I might have to stake some to move them back. They do have the thorns on them. So here, here's more. Huh? They do have, no, no, no. They do have thorns and everything on them. Sure, There's more over here. <laughs> we never lost. We never 
All right, so there's lots of the clusters are here. Unfortunately, the plant is growing this way. And I think it's just because of the sun, the where, this is where the sun sets. So they're over here as well. So I'm not sure what I wanna do with this. Perhaps I could break up some of these and move them. The only problem is because of all the thorns, that won't be necessarily fun. All right, so this is the pear, your Bartlett pear. All right, so this is how it's doing. Is it this the second year of it? Third year? It's the second year, I think, with us, and there was about one year old when we got it. Don't know. I, I really don't pay attention to the fruit trees. I just kind of let them do their thing, and they do usually do well. I just, you know, that's my lazy gardening. And there are, I, I do remember there was a lots of flowers. I don't see the the pears and it's hard to see green on green um, but once they get bigger we should be able to find them were you able to find any when you were looking these are pear trees um, I forgot what pear this was um, but it did give us pears last year so I do look forward to eating pears this year all right Yes, and so we'll see you guys on the next garden tour, and I hope you all enjoyed it.